the polished mahogany finish, which they don't make anymore, funnily enough. But I think it looks really, really slick. Press the button there on the on the screen, and you'll met with the menu. Now you've got more than one piano sound, as you can see: grand piano, rock piano, cocktail, all these pages. Upright piano. The '70s ballad piano is really nice for the John Lennon stuff, especially Imagine. Really beautiful sound, and there's so much in there. You can go through. There's a guitar section with all these guitars, not only acoustic but electric. I really like just the the basic concert grand. You can hear the fret noises. Sounds so realistic. Moving on, you've got strings as well. My, one of my favourites is the, the Celtic violin, and I'm sure you'll recognise what I play here. Sounds so realistic. All of the instruments in here sound really realistic, and it is just mind blowing. Really, it's amazing. The brass as well. You go to a jazz trumpet. One of my favourite things about playing the trumpets is the slide. So if you play an octave, it will slide up. Fantastic. All of the sounds in there are really, really realistic. And as I say, there's so much built in, hundreds of voices. Um, even you can put two sounds together, like I did on the 625. If I go back to the nice piano sound we were on and go back to the main page, you've got this button here that says layer. Now, when I press layer, it does just that. It gives me another layer of an instrument. And it, the, by default, it gives you the strings. But I can go through, um, I've got classical strings here. I'll do that. It's really great. Lots of styles built in, so rhythms, drum beats. Um, similarly to the voice section, when you press the style, you're met with this menu screen where you can scroll through pages and pages of different styles of, of, of beats, of rhythms. You can go to pop, country and blues, standards and jazz. You pick a jazz one and you can play a chord in the left hand here. Gives you a nice backing. And you can play. The nice thing about the CVP is the cleverness of it, really. I've picked a jazz style, um, and with every style, the instrument, the piano, will give you suggested voices. And all I need to do is press this button over here called OTS Link. That is the one touch setting area, which makes everything much easier. So I turn that on, and now when I play, I can change the voice at the click of a button. Again. And it will even end it for you. Fantastic. And it's so easy. All you do is press that button and it does a lot of the work for you. All you need to do is press the buttons, gives you all these different um, voices that suit the style you pick. So every style will give you a completely set of new voices when you've got the one such setting on. For example, I can go to a, a country and blues style. I think I put one in the favourites. Yeah, 6 8 rock, for example. I'll pick that one. By default, on A, on the variation A, I've got a, an organ up here, which is a really bluesy. 
sounding organ and all I need to do is play a chord like I did before. I'll put a little introduction on this time as well. Just so you can hear the quality. And now I can play. about the organs is if I press this pedal, the left pedal, while I'm playing, it will add the Leslie effect. So if I hear this and press, can you hear it get quicker, slower, quicker, really nice touch. And I can move on. Electric guitar. Again, moving on. Pop grand. Last one. Electric guitar. We'll end it for you. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. You can spend, and I do, hours playing it in the showroom. Um, but I know for some people, you'll look at this and you'll go, there's loads of buttons, what am I gonna do with all of those? Don't worry if you're not the one in the family that likes playing with all the styles and the rhythms. There is a button on here just for you, and it's called Piano Room. All you need to do is press that button, and you are met with this beautiful looking grand piano and that's all you do. You just have a grand piano and you play piano. No special effects, anything like that. It is as simple as that. It's there for you to play the piano, really rich. Now if you wanted to, you could be a bit clever and if I show you on the screen, you could open the piano lid if you wanted to, which gives a bit of a uh, a brighter sound. You can even change where you are. So if I wanted to play a piano in a cathedral, which would give a very different atmosphere, you just do that on the screen. You can hear the echo. Sounds like you're in a very big room. Shut the lid again. I could even change the piano itself if I wanted a, an upright piano. And I could change that to be in a, a living room, for example, which gives a very different feel. So if you're a piano player traditionally, um, and you're, you're, the, you're the one in the family that just wants to play piano, but some others like to play on the, the styles, that button is really, really useful and just a nice tool to have. It's so cool, so visual, you can change where you are, it gives you nice presets, um, and it is just really easy to use. Now all of this can be saved instantly using this registration memory section, so any uh, settings that you want to keep, all you need to do is press a couple of buttons and it will save. And now the great thing about the 600 series and especially the 609 is this little port over here the usb port that means that anything that you want to keep put onto your laptop put into music software into logic upload to youtube and all that sort of thing you can export it to a usb plug it in easy peasy doesn't take too long at all or vice versa if you've got songs that you want to play along with on itunes and you want to put them on a usb do so plug it in and it will play through the speakers and you can play along with it um, now I should move on, I could play this all day, 